While some people have finished their shopping, a majority not even started. According to a new survey by ConsumerReports.org, only 12% of people are done with their holiday shopping. 40% have not even started looking for gifts. And if you take a look at just men, the number of procrastinators goes up to 53%. ksy 4s Annie Bishop is live downtown tonight. Annie, are last minute shoppers starting to panic a little bit? Well, most shoppers we talked to were fairly calm, saying they'd completed most of their shopping. Yes, even the men putting Spokane, I guess, well above uh, the national average. Now, even though folks told me today they're spending less this Christmas, they say that it's actually uh, helping them rediscover the reason for the season. As a children's choir sings Silent Night, shoppers at River Park Square are anything but quiet. Busy. Busy, very busy. Daniel Kreft is shopping for his mom, dad, brother, and grandma. I only have about five hours to get it done, so kind of on a time crunch. With many shoppers on a budget, everyone is searching for the best deals. You walk in and they're telling you what they got marked off, whatever's already marked down, and uh, uh, pretty good deals so far. Every place we went, I think, had a little bit of a discount, you know, 25% off or... 30% off. A consumer report survey says shoppers are paying cash for more gifts and are using credit cards as little as possible. The report indicates shoppers are spending about $100 less than they did last year. The broker each account doesn't look too good. It's kind of scary. Oh, tighten the belt for a year or two. Cindy Inch isn't spending as much either. Budget is down this year. Um, we're just kind of looking for, we've got some lists, but we're just looking for special things. Um, nothing extravagant, but just kind of fun, homey, special little things. What they don't spend in money, many shoppers say they make up for in time with friends and family, remembering why this time of year is so special. In fact, I think you feel more like doing good deeds and giving, you know, thoughtful gifts that aren't in aren't necessarily expensive. I love it. I love it. I'm more into that. I think things kind of got out of hand for years and we kind of lost sight of what Christmas was really about. And so it's really nice to kind of come back home and, and ground ourselves again. And not only will the malls, of course, be crazy in the next couple days, National Retail Federation says grocery stores will see more folks uh, leading up to Christmas, about three, up about 3% from last year. That's because folks are making more uh, treats and baked goods for presents. Reporting live in downtown Spokane, Annie Bishop, KXLY4HD News.